So have you ever used uh, VLOOKUP or XLOOKUP or HLOOKUP? So VLOOKUP is the best way to search for specific uh, data. Let's say we have this data here. So you may say, oh, we, I, have, uh, I, I am confusing you, but listen to me, you will understand me. So we have this column here of names. Let's say that these are the names of the schools. So this column is longer than this one. So we want to know which names or what name that is in this column, this here, that will appear in this, the other column. So we, in order to do that, we must use the local. So it's easy. Sometimes it may not work because the data contains spaces or uh, special characters inside. So what can you do? So I've, I've provide you with this video in order to know what can you do. So in order to clear up your columns so that VLOOKUP will work properly, you must use trim, a trim keyword. So let me show you how trim works. So let's go above here. So we have this column here. I say this, these are the names of the schools. And the second column, these are the names of the schools also. But these are the government schools. Let's say these are all schools. So we want to pro we, are, we want to come up with government schools from this column here. So these are the government schools. These are all schools that are found in the country. These are only government schools. So we want to come up with government schools that comes from this column here. So we want, in order to do that, we have to compare the string that is uh, the string that is in this column uh, to the strings that are in this column. So if you use the lookup and it's not working, let's let's say you 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 put your VLOOKUP code, maybe this is your VLOOKUP code, this year, and it's not working, you must do a trim. So you will take this column, you see, this column A here, and use a trim keyword, is equal to trim function, is equal to trim A1. So trim first your first column, and then trim your second column. Trim your second column. After doing that, now you can use the lookup. Why do we trim? Because we avoid making an error. An error may occur because uh, while you are doing VLOOKUP, uh, maybe your column has special character or spaces. Uh, if there is any special characters or spaces, maybe your VLOOKUP may, may not work, might not work, or may not work. So if you trim the first column, use trim keyword in the first column, uh, like me here, and trim keyword in the second column. So drop down your, your function to the bottom or double click this, this around here. Tap, tap, double click two times. After doing that, your view lookup now will work, okay? Let's say how VLOOKUP works now. As you can see, there is a frame here that shows this red. And there is a frame that shows the entire column of the, this second column. So VLOOKUP will take this word with this word or this name and compare to all other names. If it's found that this name appears in this column, it will come up with that name. So it take this name compared to all of this column. After knowing that it, it happens to be there, it comes up with that name. Maybe this name here. 
it's compared to the entire column. Now it's found, that's why it appears here. So for me, I was finding for private and government schools, so I use VLOOKUP and it works properly. So VLOOKUPs work very properly, but the thing to avoid, the thing to avoid is you must trim your columns first. Trim your first column and your second column. Use the QH trim. So another way uh, that is alternative to VLOOKUP for those who are developers or programmers, let, let's go and show you. So here we can do VLOOKUP by using uh, Okay, 